The following is a segment from Heliconia's new paddling TV series, Facing Waves, brought to you in part by Level 6, top quality paddle and surf gear born out of love for sport and adventure. Check them out at level6.com. Over the past five years, stand-up paddling has exploded in popularity. This growth began when surfers recognized the benefits of starting from a standing position and having the added power of a paddle to catch waves. But the popularity of stand-up paddling has transcended the surf world as more and more people are taking stand-up paddle boards to rivers, lakes and lagoons as a fun means of simply getting outside and getting some exercise. I got into stand-up paddling because it was the first thing that really got me into the shape that I was looking for, just the overall total body conditioning. And I think it's currently one of the fastest growing water sports for that reason, because I've yet to meet anybody who doesn't feel the benefits from head to toe. Paddleboarding is growing exponentially because it's not limited to a demographic or on any particular type of athlete. Anybody can do it. You can do it in flat water, in waves, lakes, rivers, bays, lagoons, the ocean. It's what I call stand-up paddleitis. Once you have it, the only cure is to get your own board and get out there on the water. Although stand-up paddling has boomed in popularity all over the world, Puerto Rico has become a favorite destination for both new and experienced stand-up paddlers. Although most stand-up paddlers travel to Puerto Rico for its incredible surf, Hundreds of riders make the annual trip to Puerto Rico's capital city of San Juan for the Paddle Royale. A two-day stand-up paddling event with a $20,000 purse, which draws many of the world's top riders. This year, Paddle Royale is being taken to a whole new level. $20,000 in prize money has attracted the world's top paddleboarding stars, including Candace Appleby from Surftech, Eric Terrien, from Big Sport Chase Kosterlitz, from Fanatic, and world's most incredible paddleboarder, Danny Ching from 404. At the center of the Paddle Royale event is an eight mile race around Old San Juan, which puts riders' skills and endurance to the ultimate test. Picking up my broken teeth I spit them out Cause I can't swallow anything, anything. Mouthwash is pumping through my veins Just to help me get me on my feet And clean again Coming straight out of your mouth And into the ground Coming straight out of your mouth And into the ground Flavor, I'll be taking pains to do the things I gotta do to be the same. Be the same. I don't feel the way I think it seems. Maybe I can work it out in surgery. surgery. Coming straight out of your mouth and into the ground. Coming straight out of your mouth and into the ground. 152 competitors went in the water fighting for $20,000 in prize money and lots and lots of bragging rights. As expected, Danny Ching simply dominated the long distance race nearly from beginning till end. The one big challenger was, and this is no surprise either, Eric Terrien from Big Sport. He was very strong at the start and just basically chased Danny all the way in back to the lagoon, eight and a half miles. Danny simply killed it in the long distance. Candace Appleby came in from San Clemente, California to reclaim her rightful place as the top battle royale competitor but it didn't come easy. Angela Jackson, all the way from Australia, challenged her all the way. This is incredible. We do this loop inside the bay here, right? And uh, 
Starts out with a nice little warm up lap, and then we go outside in the ocean where we basically got every condition you can see. Uh, a little bit of side wind, and we started to get a little bit of downwind. We turned back into the harbor, and uh, it was flat and hot for a long time, and then suddenly a squall came through, and it was headwind and rainy. And it cleared back up, and it was flat and hot for the finish. So a little bit of everything, and the race was back and forth. Uh, Eric Terrian was right behind me the whole way, so never had a chance to rest. <laughs>